welcome back to my channel guys so this is going to be um a face routine that is kind of new to me but has been working so um my skincare video is probably going to be towards the middle of the month because i just tried out a new skincare regimen and it's working pretty good so um this is just going to be like my everyday kind of I mean, if you watch me on Snapchat, I really don't wear makeup every day. But when I do, this is like, this has been for the past month my go-to. I already did my eyebrows, so we're just going to just put my hair back because I don't like working with my hair down. So, okay, hopefully you guys can see me. Okay, so I already moisturized, so I'm just going to add a little bit of the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer Oil. I'm not going to add a lot, I'm just going to add it to the dry spots on my face. Which is just the perimeter. So I only literally take like a drop. Because the, the middle of my face is oily, because I have combo skin. So I only put it around here, and my chin. I really don't get oily on my chin. I don't know why. <laughs> but my oils are just like right here. Right there. So my primer oil can last me forever. I probably won't ever have to buy it again. So first I'm going to start off with um, primer. And I'm going to be using the Fenty primer. So I'm going to be taking it on the foundation brush that Fenty Beauty sells. And I hate working with just my viewfinder. So I'm going to be putting it on my skin. And my skin is not at its best right now. Like you can see I have like a hormonal breakout. You know, same crap once a month. But I'm going to... So I'll let that sink in. And then I just go over... Um with the uh, Rihanna uh, Fenty Beauty sponge. Like this little thing is so tiny when it's not wet, but when it's when it's wet, it like expands like twice its size. So then I just press it in. Mm. I just feel like I cover more ground with the brush. But this, I just make sure that it goes in my skin, you know? Eyebrows are already done, so. Now, like I said in my previous videos, with the Fenty Foundation, uh, I believe it's called Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty Pro Filler Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. You have to go get color matched for this foundation because I've went through three colors and I have all three colors. Um, I really don't self tan or anything like that. I just have a tan in the summertime, but, um, it's just, you have to, I mean, if you can eyeball it, congratulations to you, but me, I honestly couldn't. And I'm usually good at eyeballing foundations, like online or, you know, when you go into the store. So, um, it wasn't a waste of money for me, but my color exactly is 210. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it matches. But it matches. So that's really all that counts. So shake it up. And then I just put it on the back of my hand. Are we still recording? Yes. Okay. So I just put a little on the back of my hand. And then I go on with the same brush that I put the primer on. But um, then I go back in with uh, the beauty sponge and just like a beauty blender, roll it to make sure. You... So Maybelline concealer in sand. I always use it as um, I've been using it forever. I actually these just came out with new packaging, so I have to go get the new ones. So I don't want to brighten up my under eyes too much. So I'm using like a color that would match my skin tone. 
because I'm not going anywhere fancy. And I have to cover this pimple. And these are like pimples that are just going away. So I just take the beauty sponge again. And just go in. I do my eyelids because of eyeshadow. I have redness, so I'm probably going to take more. Did I just put it back? Yes, I did. I have redness around my nose. As a woman, we all get redness around our noses because <sighs> hormones so <clears throat> these pimples I just try to cover as best as I can and then I add some powder to you know make it stay but I want to talk about a palette that really gets no love on on YouTube and I don't understand why. It's the Coco Collection by Kylie Cosmetics. This little palette is amazing. Like, this bronzer is amazing. And I don't hear anyone talking about it. I, it's still available. That, Tina, bronze up the face. It's so annoying to see pimples, but we're all human. I just love this color because it's, I feel like it's so universal. You can use it. Like, I wouldn't say it's universal because I don't think deeper skin, skin tones would get um i don't think it's universal because i don't think it could work well with deeper skin tones but i would say from being very light to being even tan could work well that's the only thing she could have worked on is giving a deeper contour or deeper con a uh, deeper bronzer color so i'm setting my um under eyes with the patrick star highlighter I mean, um, setting powder, which is fine because I didn't even use, um, powder yet. So that works fine for me. All I did was bronze up my face. That was the only powder I used and this was not the spot that I used it on. So let's set this mother loving pimple. Okay, so the pimple is set, bronzed up with, and just use a little bit of the blush, which is called, um, I don't know, I don't know. It is called Hollywood Boulevard. Just to get some color in these cheeks, and today I need some color. I feel like we're just starting makeup all over again with my channel because like I even forgot how to film tutorials <laughs> I'm being completely honest with you and I feel like I'm rusty in some areas some areas of makeup so we can learn together So a little blush like definitely gave my face some life. So we're gonna keep going in. I'm packing that shit. That is my husband texting me, but he's gonna have to wait. So for highlighter, we're gonna use the Fenty Beauty uh, Kilowatt highlighter in Mean Money and Hustle Baby. 
I'm going to take her highlighting brush. And I like to mix both, both colors. And this is supposed to be like a cheek hugging highlighter brush. Which I definitely agree it is because it just feels like it just, I don't know. Maybe I'm an easy sell. I don't know. But I feel like the way the brush is, it definitely hugs your, your cheekbone. I don't know. I could be one of those easy sell people. I like to put it on the apples of my cheek too. And then I go over it with the wet sponge to make it look like it's like in my skin, you know? So this is basically what I do on just like a day where I'm going out, like just running out or not even, because if I'm running out, I'm not wearing nothing, 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 nothing. But this is if I have like an hour to spare I'll do this. Like I need a good like hour and a half to get fully ready. Glam, full glam. But um you'll never see that on this because I would I would edit out half of the shit that I'm I'm doing or saying because I usually stop, have a drink, or my phone rings, my text messages go off. So anyway, so this is what I normally do if I have like a half an hour. Yeah, a half an hour. An hour, I could be glammed and ready to go. So, um, I hope you enjoyed it. And, yeah, this is just, I don't know, like just shopping makeup for me. But I'm going to come back with some favorites later. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to keep seeing things um, like makeup tutorials on my channel, let me know. I am getting, um, I'm just learning new techniques. Because... I want to stand out versus blend in in the beauty community. So, um, yeah, so that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.